Good morning, firewood friends. This is Chris, and we are again in the farmer's field on a big pile of wood. I drove out into a different spot today because it's dry enough now you can pretty much go everywhere in the field, which I wasn't able to do until just the last few days because we haven't had rain now in, I don't know, like a couple weeks. We had a little bit the other day, but it didn't amount to much. So now the field's pretty dry and uh, I'm at a new pile here that has got some big pieces here. Here's a, look at the size of this baby. That is a big one, uh, cottonwood. But the reason I'm here at this pile is this here and the piece that's got the green spray paint on it right there, that's all ash. Somebody spray painted them, obviously, thinking they were going to get here to cut them. But no one's been out here for at least a month and a half. There's another big chunk of ash up there I can see. So yeah, this is a new pile I'm going to be cutting on, and uh, which means I'll be able to get the good stuff out of it. And uh, tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so that's why I'm here today. Hopefully I get a couple loads out today. So yeah, there's a big chunk of ash in there. I can see some green spray paint. So yeah, this pile will be a little... Oh, there's another big one up on top there too, I can see. This pile will be a little bit easier to get at because it's not as high, not as big of a pile. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to get the, the ash trees. Yesterday I was on that tree line over there. That's where I cut. I was actually right in that corner. And then over in that corner in that pile... And then that's the pile that I've been cutting on for a long time over there. And uh, there's still five or six piles I've never even looked at yet to see what's in there. Um, but I do know that most of it is a lot of cottonwood and ash, which is, which is just fine. So yeah, you can see they've been digging the ditches over here on this side. Uh, you can see the piles of mud. They've been digging out all the, the root balls cleaning out the ditch so that the, it can drain because um, this is this spring when I was in here uh, like two months ago this was all water you can see where uh, all the sticks are floating here I mean uh, not floating where they were floating you can see where everything's came up to the side this was all water so it's finally dried up after a very long time so that's the pile we're going to cut on today I got the trailer backed up we're going to get to work right now
Well, so far, so good. I ran out uh, two tanks already. I got two saws that are out of gas. And uh, I got this biggest piece of ash here cut up. Luckily, I had my eyes sharp and I saw this before I started cutting. Piece of barbed wire, it goes in here and out here. And there was no other piece of the barbed wire because I know when they cut these, they cut all the stumps all like at about three foot high because when they're digging with the uh, excavator, they want to be able to uh, use it to pry on to get the root ball, get the root out. And uh, so that I think was the highest bar, highest wire <coughs> in the, uh, the log. So that was good. So I ripped these down because they were all pretty, pretty good size. It doesn't take long for me to rip them. Much easier to handle and load and lift out of the splitter, that kind of stuff. <coughs> So I got a bunch done and uh, I got one up on top there that's kind of inside the, the Jenga pile there that I got to dig out and uh, throw out here. You can see that one with the green paint on right, right in there. There's a log that goes that way that I got to get up in there and get. And then there's another one up in here. There's another ash right here. It's got some green paint on, so that's ash. And that's the one in there that's all cut up. I got to finish cutting that because I ran out of gas on that one. And uh, so, yeah, and I think there's another another ash. <clears throat> well, this one right here I'm standing on goes that way. And there's another one over on that side that I'm going to cut too. So truck's over there. I think what I'm going to do is drive around, load up what I've got so far, and uh, kind of clear out the pile, get it easier to cut, and then I'm going to cut some more. Keep going until the truck is the trailer's full so off we go again well the load is on and it never even started up the third saw because there was enough cut on this side that i filled the trailer i do not need to put any cut anymore it's plenty full that's 100 percent ash and then when i come back there's a bunch more ash in here i'm going to cut over in that area and on the other side i think i can i don't know if i can get a whole nother load of ash but i can do a, a definitely a, at least a half if not more and then i'll fill it up with whatever else so anyway we're going to make a run for the wood yard and do a dump here we go so we're about to pull out and i thought i would put the camera up and have it run while i drive out so you can see the size of the farm so i got the trailer loaded and we're just pulling out um and we're going to be driving all the way across the field here's the pile I was just cutting on to the left it's not a real big pile but you can see there's quite a bit there yet and in the trailer I got all the ash everything that's left there is a little bit of ash and a bunch of cottonwood and we come up alongside the edge of woods everything on the right hand side I can cut all of that anytime I want that's basically all mine to cut I'm crossing the ditch right here you can see water on both sides one little narrow spots kind of rough to get through there and you see the branches on the right that's stuff i cut a couple days ago and then the tree line back to the right and behind the trailer now i can cut all that whenever i want the pile you're going to see on the right um, i cut on that i think i got maybe three or four trailer loads full out of that and if you look on the left you can see all the trees that were cut down on the farm he said he cut over 800 trees down in the ditches and there's like four different ditches like that that run the entire length of the farm and the farm's right around 200 acres i think it's 220 he told me so we're just driving out across the field and the next pile we're going to come up along is going to be on the left hand side and then from that particular pile i got somewhere between eight and ten trailer loads full of wood and it was probably 50 50 ash and cottonwood um, a lot of real big trees in the pile coming up and it should be right now on the left there as I'm turning you'll be able to see the big pile well it's coming up Oop, there it is you can see all the sawdust there's just a lot of cutting happened right there and there was two other guys cutting that pile is probably a quarter of what it was um, so I'm gonna pull away from that go across another ditch and then we're gonna make it back um, across the field out to the road so you can see way back behind the trailer right now is where the tree line that I have available to cut in the tree line on the right I can cut all of that too he wants that gone there's the farmhouse on the left you're gonna see right now and then I'm gonna come up and out of the ditch in just a second here and you can see when I make the corner right here 
It's a real steep ditch going down, and his culvert is broken in half because he had some heavy machinery go through there. If you look behind the trailer right now, too, you can see all the ruts that were in the mud from when it was really bad this spring when we were in there. See how rocking the trailer is there coming out. You can see the big hole there. That's the culvert broken in half. So anyway, that's the adventure of coming out. Well, I am back at the farm for load number two. I just filled up the saws with gas and oil and the carnage is about to begin. I'm gonna head into the pile right in here. As you can see, there's a nice chunk of ash right here, a hollow piece of ash, and there's another piece of ash right there. And this is ash here, 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 all this cluster right here. But I got this bad boy right here that I gotta get out of here before it kills me. So I'm gonna start on the ends and just work my way in and uh, do some cutting. So here we go. It is loaded. It's my second load today, as you saw, because you were watching, because you're a good person. And this is about 90% ash, just a little bit of some cottonwood in there that I threw in. And I got through most of the stuff that I could you know, access easily. The, uh, there's a big pile of brush and stuff kind of all caught up, because this is all ash right in here. I'd like to go farther that way. And I cut the ash that was sticking out here and I'm all the way back till you see those butts back in there. Those are kind of buried in there. So I'll get those maybe next time. So yeah, there's a little bit of ash left, mostly cottonwood now. I'll have to hit one of the other piles that I haven't checked out yet. So it's loaded up and I'm gonna head for the wood yard and we're gonna dump it and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. So I'll see you in a bit. I am back in the wood yard and i'm about to throw this load kind of that direction i was going to dump it but i don't want it to be way out here where i drive through so i'm going to try to chuck most of it that direction because the splitter is buried back there so my plan is is that i'm going to split all the wood around the splitter and work my way out this way and throw the wood that direction because i want it all to be stacked kind of back in that area on that side and through here and i've got all that oak back here that i cut this winter and that's all the pine going that way and then all this is ash and then all of the wood over here which starts right where the stacked wood is right here all the way along here I'm mean, just gonna keep walking and keep walking and walking and walking and this wood is it's like I don't know it's like stacked seven feet high still walking Still going all the way up to here. Oh, 
and that wood right there too that cherry all that all this wood was free wood so this load that i'm doing about to throw off right now is either load 26 or 27 of free wood that i got this year so that means i've got well over 100 face cords of free wood this year just by paying attention to craigslist and knowing people talking to people um, helping people um, all those things that i've done have gotten me all of the wood that i've just walked past all this pine the oak back there all this ash and all that and it is the very beginning of may all this was cut just since january all of it and i bought all the wood on that side over there i bought 10 truckloads mostly oak a little bit of cherry so the free wood that i got this year is going to be pretty substantial um, so i i can average at least form as a minimum in the trailer four face cords most of the time it's four and a half once in a while if i put a big load on if i'm not traveling too far i can get five face cords because i get four and a half in here and then i throw some into the truck so minimum, I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 110 to 120 face cords of free wood this year. Just by paying attention to what's on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, talking to people, helping people. Um, that's how I've gotten free wood. You can do the same thing. This is all free wood. So yeah, this is probably the most free wood I've cut in a long time. Um, so yeah. That is it for today. Please hit the like, subscribe button. Um, share with somebody, tell people. Um, do your job, poke some buttons. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoy every second I'm outside. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Irene.